Hello folks, um, well we just got back from our awesome holiday in Greece um, where we uh, spent a week making friends and uh, <laughs> learning to windsurf um, and it's been such a brilliant experience and met some wonderful people especially uh, uh, Phil, Catherine, Clara, Georgie and Ella of course and all the, uh, all the instructors who were just so wonderful anyway long story short I had a brilliant time I want to carry on and carry on practicing and keep going with the windsurfing because it was just a brilliant experience so we're back in Christchurch and it's Tuesday lunchtime and that's behind me well, I'll show you now is Christchurch Harbour and this is where we live and where we're very very lucky to get out and uh, practice sailing and windsurfing in water sports um, done a little bit of practice before we got there so let me introduce you to the uh, state-of-the-art kit that we've been using that we're going to go out on today and have a bit of a ride around and see if any of the stuff we did last week translates to what we now do. Um, so let's show you the board. Um, this is uh, what they call a Vinta 370. It's, um, I have no idea how old it is. It is super long. It's 3.7 meters, which means it's longer than most people's cars. It's super narrow see that it is about 25 inches wide the ones we were practicing on were probably more like 36 probably 20 inches wider than, than these so this is and it's super heavy um, can't show you but it would take probably two people to carry it it's got a center board or a dagger board it's got foot straps I've never got to the point of using those um, but anyway we're gonna go and have a wobble around on this and it's gonna be I don't know if it's gonna be easier or not um, and here's the sail um, probably not too different from the training sails that we were using to be honest super old um, and not very big I've got no idea how big it is um, but anyway we're going to go out have a little uh, play just for half an hour or so lunchtime uh, take you along for the ride and hopefully we will um, have some fun <laughs> see you on the water bye for now Wind a bit here, don't know if you can see. It's sort of blowing from the southeast, diagonally kind of up the harbour, so we're heading up a little way. I mean, we get out to a point we can turn around and hopefully come back on a little bit more of a reach. Try and get the board down. Maybe that will help. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there. First thing I'm noticing is feeling so much harder on the arms. When we do the weight of the board, we're going quite nicely, we're not slow, but it just feels heavy. It's a really light rig. Oh. What should you say? Bend the legs.
off in a minute. Hello again. Ah, right. We are on the wrong side of the harbour. Well, we're on the right side of the harbour if we don't want to do any work. We're on the wrong side of the harbour if we want to be back home having a sandwich. So I suppose we'd better get back on. So this is the um, dreaded beach start, which we really enjoy. So here we go. Uh, right, coach and tip here. Get the bow paint here pointed sort of across the wind, bit off the wind. Try and put your back foot on first, on the center line, more or less close to your sailing position. Use on the back of the dagger ball. Stand up and sheet in. And we're off. Oh, and straight into a gust. Leave the dagger board up, see if we get along. Let's see if we can get home without a dagger board. Might be a bit wobbly. Oh, big gust of the wind. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's try and keep some power in the rig. A little bit wobbly. We're just wobbly people. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Remember, just drop the weight down, bend the back leg when you get a gust. That's what they tell us.
Oh well. Good try. Back on. Oh, oh. the dagger ball down, but dagger ball wants to come back up. Getting in the shallow. Oh, that's a Let's try attack. And that's very wobbly compared to the training board. We do not like tacking these things. Okay, once we're up, it's not so bad. Getting up, that's really bad. Okay, let's go for sure. I've got a foot in a strap here for me. I can't really dare look down. Not brave enough for that. guys well there we go chaps everything packed away just a little short half an hour but last for lunch but uh, we made it across oh it doesn't feel any easier actually it does I'll tell you a lie it feels a little easier than it did a week ago so I guess all the practice has paid off so I think we just need to do lots and lots more of this and hopefully we'll become uh, well we're just going to do lots and lots more. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the ride. Welcome to Christchurch Harbour. And um, well, I'll see you again soon. Take care of yourselves wherever you are. Missing you all. Bye for now, guys. Bye-bye.